Thanks for clicking. I am Neharika. Well, in today's lesson, we are going to look at some phrases to talk about dieting and also to talk about weight gain. Now, if you are fat or a little obese, then probably your doctor would recommend you to go on a diet. So, if you are on a diet, what are the phrases or what's the vocabulary that you use in English? Well, that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. five phrases that you can use when you are on a diet. So let's have a look at the first one, which is to watch what you eat. Now here, when I say to watch what you eat, doesn't mean that you have to look at the food and then eat. Well, here it means that you need to be careful about the quantity of food that you eat. Now, for example, you visit your aunt and your aunt offers you this delicious piece of cake. Wow, it looks delicious, scrumptious, I want to gulp it down. But hey, you are on a diet, so you need to watch what you eat. So it means that you need to be careful of the quantity of food that you eat. So if you're on a diet, Stay away from that piece of cake. Well, that's good for you, right? Now let's have a look at the second phrase, which is to watch your figure. Now this is especially for the girls. Well, girls love to maintain their figure. They love to look good. Yes, because if you look good, you feel nice about yourself. So it's important to maintain your figure. So, the next time someone comes and tells you, hey, I have uh, a nice idea. Why not we plan a trip to a nice restaurant and eat some burgers? Oh, not a great idea because you are on a diet. So, you need to watch your figure. So, the next time you look at this fatty food or if you look at pastries and too much of soda, well, if you are on a diet, you can say, I need to watch my figure, right? So for the girls, you can use this phrase if you are on a diet. Let's have a look at the third expression, which is to go on a crash diet. Now, what is to go on a crash diet? Well, to go on a radical diet. So what is a radical diet? Now, if something important is coming up, like for example, your sister is getting married in two months and you want to look really pretty for the wedding and you think that you have gained too much of weight, time to go on a crash diet. So crash diet is to go on a radical diet. It's like a quick diet plan that you follow for like a month or two so that you can lose weight quickly. Okay, so that's a crash diet for you. The next one that I have for you is to count the calories. Now, how do you count the calories? Now, the food that we eat, it's important for you to measure the calories. It's important for you to measure the calorie intake. Like for example, if you end up eating a chocolate pastry or a chocolate muffin, which is almost about 300 calories, so you need to measure the amount of calories that you take on daily basis because the more calories, well, you need to burn it all the more.
Okay, so to count the calories, it means to measure your calorie intake. The next phrase that I have for you is to cut down on. Now, when you are on a diet, it's important for you to cut down, which means to either reduce or to stop eating certain items. For example, when I was on a diet last year, I had to cut down on pastas, on bread, uh, and of course on junk food. What is junk food? Well, fast food or ready to eat food is always called as junk food. So that's junk food. So if you are on a diet, it's important for you to cut down on certain items that you eat. So either it can be junk food, either it can be soda, either it can be too much of fatty products. So go ahead and use this phrase. When you want to reduce or stop eating, certain food items all right so these are the five phrases that you can use if you are on a diet and now let's have a look at some phrases that you can use when you gain too much of weight so are you putting on a lot of weight well if you are then these are some of the phrases that you can use not necessarily that it's just you who's gaining too much of weight. It can be your partner. It can be your friends. So you can use these phrases for them as well. The first one, you are what you eat. Well, there's a friend of mine and she would always come up to me and say, Hey, Niharika, do you think I'm fat? How does this dress look on me? Am I looking fat? And then I say, no, it's all right. You're not fat. Don't worry about it. But then there are times that when someone is asking you and you realize that yes this person is looking a little fat you're not gonna say oh yes you look fat that's gonna be mean that's gonna be rude so a correct phrase or a nice polite phrase that you can use is well you are what you eat so here it means that whatever you are gonna eat that's gonna show on your body if you eat healthy, nutritious food, you're going to be nice, slim and trim. However, if you're eating too much of junk food and drinking too much of soda, that's going to show on your body. That means that you are going to look fat. So if someone comes and asks you, next time use this phrase. Well, you are what you eat, so you are safe here. You're not saying that you look fat. But you are being also nice by saying that it's you, what you eat, that's how you're going to look, right? The next one is middle age spread. Hmm, what does this mean? Well, it sounds a little funny, but middle age spread, it means when you gain too much of weight around your waistline and around your hips. So there are some people, people call it as a tube tire when all your fat is right here on your waist or on your hips. So a better word rather than saying that, hey, look at my tube tire, you can say that, oh, that's a middle age spread that I can see. So middle age spread is gaining weight. gaining weight around your waist and hips. The next one, to go up a size. Now when you say, oh, look at me, I'm going up a size. So it means that I used to wear clothes of a small size. However, now that I have gained weight, I need to look for clothes with M, that's medium size. So when you think that you're gaining weight, you can use this phrase not just when you're shopping but you can use it casually when you're just talking to your friends about look how much weight i have gained you can say oh i've gone a size up so which means that you have gained weight 
Now when you say, I need to drop a size. So here when you say that I need to drop a size, it means that maybe you're already fat or obese and now you need to go on a diet and drop a size. So if you're already wearing uh, large size clothes, now it's time to go on medium or maybe small, right? So that's to drop a size. And then the last phrase that I have for you is pile on the pounds. Now in many countries, people measure their weight on pounds, especially in America. Like here, you will say that I am 50 kilos. I weigh 50 kilos. But uh, in the US, you would end up saying, well, I weigh around 90 pounds. So uh, one pound or one kilo is almost equivalent to two pounds okay so like almost two pounds okay so that's not the exact calculation but just almost two pounds so if you pile on the pounds it means that you are gaining weight too much of weight so rather than just saying that hey lady you have put on put on too much of weight you can say hey lady you have piled on too much of pounds or too many pounds okay so that's how you will use these phrases for the people who have gained weight or for yourself if you have gained weight right so go ahead use them they're really nice and funny and of course you will sound really confident when you use these all so i'll be back with a new lesson soon till then take care